What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. We're outside of the Sagrada Familia today. You might be able to see it right behind me, but we're not here for the Sagrada Familia. We're here for the Christmas market just on the outside. I'm gonna walk around and check it out. We got our first stop. You can see some churros, some waffles. And this is one of the two bigger Christmas markets in Barcelona. You can see quite a bit of people out here today. And today is not the holiday. Yesterday was the holiday, the Constitution Day. And tomorrow is the Immaculate Conception. So today is an off day. We call it a puente, a bridge holiday, where we get the day off. So we're not going to go to work anyway. So you can see a lot more people are outside. Some different stalls over here for Christmas trees, poinsettias. Looks like a couple people picking up their Christmas tree for the holiday season. I still have to set mine up. And you can see that this year, obviously a little bit different. They've kind of got little arrows guiding everybody. There's an entrance and exit to basically each of the stalls. And you can see many of the different decorations out here. You've even got some of the trees and everything. One of the big things, and you'll see when we're walking around at the different stalls, is the, the manger scenes, right? The nativity scenes, but also these little cagatillos, which are the poop logs here that poop out presents. One of the greatest traditions. Bunch of different trees. And like I said, it's basically a one way around the block. So we'll get on through. You see some people going the opposite direction, but most people are going through the same way. And then you have some more stalls. Here you have a lot of the nativity scene characters if you can see those the shepherds the three wise men mary joseph baby jesus you can see those back there all sorts of different styles a lot of this is because here especially in spain a lot of times Christmas is a big day. Get together, you celebrate, you might have a nice Christmas lunch. But remember, it is that whole season. So the season doesn't end until the 6th, until the, the wise men get there with their gifts. And then again, you get presents. So sometimes you do it double days of presents, both Christmas and Three Kings Day. Or sometimes you pick one or the other. And these are more decorations here. You can see some different stars, trees. And a lot of them are very similar, these little stalls, but some of them are a little different. You got these little like wreaths set up with all different fruits. I'm sure give it a nice smell to your house right here, but you can see all the different little trees, the fruit wreaths, little hanging pine cones are always really nice. If you didn't notice, like I said, we're out behind or outside of the Sagrada Familia. You can see the passion facade right there. And that passion facade, the newer one that's done. And like you've seen in some other videos, right? The church is in work stoppage right now. It's also closed. See a little bit more of gift sets all together. More of the buildings as well for Bethlehem, the manger. And this market along with the market in front of the cathedral are two of the bigger ones here. I bought an advent calendar a couple years back from here. 
can see a little bit more of the decorations here. And this one's a little bit more open. In front of the cathedral, walked by earlier, and the line was incredibly long to get in. They kind of closed it off, and we're only letting certain amount or certain numbers of people in. And then when those people left, more people could come in. So it's almost like a head count. Got some really nice little figures out here, little Playmobil figures as well. And you can see some big cagatillos out here. And this is one of those traditions they have where the kids will hit the log with a stick. And they'll basically sing this song, telling the log to poop some presents. Good presents, not, you know, the bad coals or anything like that. And then they'll get presents pooped out under the blanket right there. And then here, I'm going to have to come back here and grab one. But you have the Kagane which is another character you add into the nativity scene. Really only have in, in Catalonia. It doesn't happen all over Spain. And these guys are going to be put in the back. And what they're doing is they're pooping. Hence the name Cagané, which is the pooper, to be politically correct. And what you'll see is they're in the back. The legend is that they didn't have a present when all the other shepherds and everybody came they didn't this guy didn't have a present so he runs out back behind the manger and he poops and basically fertilizes the soil and brings you good luck coming into the new year so it's a staple to have and they make them in all sorts of different characters and you'll see some of those all over the place we got some other shops here in the center it's a little bit more kind of like some nice gifts you got a lot of this one looks really cool. Keychains and everything back there. And some different decorations for your house. Purses, bags, all sorts of different things. It's a nice place to come and get some, some little gifts as well instead of just walking around and, and grabbing decorations for your house. And then on the other side, realistically, what you can see uh, is there's just going to be more little shops for crepes or anything like this inside of the market. Just some handmade bowls right over here. All sorts of little different things. But it's always a nice place to come over. And like I said, there's a lot of people out today because they, they don't have to go to work. We got our day off for the nice little holiday weekend, stretching over until Tuesday. But you can see right here outside of that beautiful Sagrada Familia we've got right behind us, you've got the Sagrada Familia Christmas Market. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember you can check out some other videos, other walks through Barcelona as I'm trying to bring Barcelona to you. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those. And if you like this video, remember to give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.